Hello and welcome back to another episode of World of Warcraft Hardcore. My name is Eiken and today we're continuing the quote-unquote Diaries of Death where we are playing our Frost Mage in uh, the official World of Warcraft Hardcore servers. We are rejoining our adventure at level 56. The reason why um, there is maybe like 20% of level 55 missing is I grinded full gorks down here. We're now at uh, friendly uh, with them, or neutral rather. I think we're not friendly yet, uh, but we're not no longer not like. Let's put it this way. Um, the reason why I did this is we now have number one uh, root tubbers, uh, which are going to be extra healing potions. That plus the Yunguru Crater Crystal Resort are uh, going to help us to stay nice and healthy. Number two, um, we have quite a few scenarian uh, salves and that again is helpful uh, for us because uh, scenarian salves uh, will help us to gain more buffs in the future and speaking about buffs i got myself a sunflower serenade uh, just before we started now the part about sunflower serenade is it's just a massive uh, buff uh, spell critical five uh, percent and all attributes plus 15 is great we're rocking 3100 uh, and uh, 40 hit points and around 5200 mana which uh, i would consider heavily buffed also since these guys now are no longer dubious but kind of uh, neutral we can hand in the ritual totem get experience, get two major uh, potions and also two major mana potions. So that was uh, helpful and very much worth it uh, because uh, specifically the major mana potions are hard to come by uh, when you're leveling and can't use the auction house. Good. Today on our agenda is going to be winter spring. We are now level 50 six so that is a perfect opportunity for winter spring the only four areas left are winter spring eastern plague lands western plague lands and essentially silithus so uh, those are the options that we uh, have and out of all of these options uh, the by far preferred one from my end is good old uh, winter spring so we're going to start with uh, threat of winterfall which is a nice little uh, quest where we are yet again killing four borgs. So let's take a look uh, just how. Oh, I forgot uh, one thing with level 56 came a new frost bolt, and that one is just awesome. So we're going to chuck an arcane elixir just to let it uh, rip, and let's see. So no crit yet, but a couple of really good hits. And there we go, 1080. We finally made it across uh, the uh, mark. Uh, it'll be, I think, uh, to a higher level uh, Frostbolt. 1090, holy smokes. 1108, yep. Like I said, we're, it's, it's ripping time. All right, so in terms of quests here, uh, these guys, of course, not our own uh, only quest. Uh, we need to kill quite a few of uh, them. There we go. So, in terms of quest, Winterfall, Pathfinder, Totemic, uh, Denwatcher, like all of uh, these guys, a couple of owl beasts on top of it. Uh, yeah, no problem. I mean, it's just a killing quest. We should not have an issue with that. I think if I'm not mistaken, there is also a quest for the ice bears. So we're going to see that uh, through in the near future as well. All right, after this long intro, let me grind the hat and uh, get the quest done. And uh, we fast forward it for you. I'll let you know if anything uh, interesting happens. All right, so we found ourselves an empty uh, flask that started the quest. 
said quest will lead us to the south where we uh, will need to talk to Donova Snowden. So let's do that. Donova is here. We got her. We had spoken with her already once. And we're back to uh, failing uh, the corruption. I think that is search the de uh, Deadwood Fullboard camp in northern Fellwood for a clue. Okay, so that would be on the other side. Uh, we can do that, but let's do the killing quests here first. You can always uh, go back to uh, Fellwood if we decide to do that. But for now, let's just kill the stuff here. Fast forward. All right, we're done with our original quest here. Red and Winter uh, has been dealt with, but there is a bit more to it. Uh, we still need to do the regular owl bear, uh, all beasts, and uh, we've uh, done fail uh, failing the corruption. On the other hand, which means we can now go over um, and. Uh, quest item then double check whatever is in the northern camp and come back to here so that we don't need to walk too often in between both sides of the tunnel good we moved our self all the way over here left a bit of a trail of destruction and this cauldron here is exactly what uh, we're after but it is heavily guarded, so that's going to be an interesting pull. However, we are also heavily buffed, so shouldn't be too afraid of it. Might be a pull of three. Five. So, hmm. let's redo that whole scenario. Can't really AOE them, can I? Nah, not really. Rebuffing, full mana, got everything ready. All right, let's see. Five is a bit much, but maybe we can kill one of uh, them before the rest comes in. Is manageable, just need to lose aggro now. Interesting, very interesting. I don't remember that uh, they had a pull of uh, a five pull here. Stead footing. We should be good. Uh, four, I can tackle. Five, I theoretically could tackle as well. But why risk it if I can stay safe? Alright, so that's one down. I think I will just shoot this guy. the sheep no one has killed and 
also interesting enough. You know? All of these guys are now back in action. and stressing over that. Yeah, so the other wandering ad came on top of it. And it is not unusual that there are like hems of four here which are also linked for level 60s that's less of a concern for even uh, level uh, mm, characters like mine that can be a bit uh, challenging we clear out uh, this way because I don't want uh, to pull into respawn I'll just clear this out all right cleared out most of the other stuff which now brings us to only a pack of uh, three that should be mentioned should Hunter here is like effort. I'm just going to take the quest. Zero health, nothing. Alright, buddy, enjoy. Happy to clear that out for you. So now it's back to winter spring. All right, on our way, we grab this winterfall moving totem. Realized that a little bit uh, too late. And that should be yet another uh, quest trade in. There are a couple of like these drop quests which give you additional reputation. Sweet, even more potions. Yeah, we're now having full major healing potions, quite a few actually. Uh, we should be good to go. And funnily enough, in, in that playthrough, we haven't really been using uh, healing potions that often because we always played safe. Anyways, after running a little bit from here to there. We got the threat of uh, Winterfall down and we're looking fly, that's good. Got a couple of wrecked owl beasts uh, that we will need to slay and a couple of raging owl beasts. And afterwards we can pick up even more stuff. Matter of fact, you know what, we're moving in this direction. I'll, ki uh, I'll kick down a couple of the owl beasts here and there and we're going to pick up more quests. Because boy boy there's going to be there are a lot of uh, quests and we're doing super well so far um, almost half a level in holy smokes good and we're finally back in town hey guys how's it going how's everybody been fantastic good are we there yet yeti hell yeah Alrighty, so we got ourselves a couple of quests, actually quite a few, uh, to, be, uh, to be fair. Uh, one of which was uh, Osiris, a elite bear, just teamed up uh, with uh, Prozix, one of our former 
dungeon companions who happen to be in the exact same quest and was already tracking them. So that was uh, nice. Uh, the only thing that was nice is I failed to uh, record it. Anyway, so uh, we got quite a few quests um, for ourselves. Raging Owl Beasts, uh, Yetis, other normal owl beasts. So plenty of wildlife that needs some pounding. The only thing that we don't need to kill are these um, polar bears. So I will continue and just grind down uh, the um, enemies and give you an update if something interesting happens. This is just really kill X quest, so might as well uh, fast forward that to uh, for you. As things so happen, our friend just told us there's a follow-up quest uh, for uh, the uh, Ors uh, Osiris or Orsis, and it's another elite. So how could we not do that together? Ruman of the Children. Oh yeah, I remember that one was a uh, a chimera. So, let's just find it and kill it. Alright, we found him and it took a while to engage uh, with this guy. Fortunately, the, this here is a complete elite area, so plenty of other elite mobs uh, around. And we're trying to nuke him down before the hunter's pet is down. Oh my lord, that guy was tough. Okay, let's get out of here. That was closer than expected. I uh, couldn't record all of uh, the hunt, but basically we needed to kind of sneak around the very corners of this area. All of these are elite uh, uh, dragons, and there is a dragon in the cave at the very end of uh, this area, uh, which is required for the Onyxia. Uh, attunement uh, chain so that guy is no joke either we almost ran into him Ooh, close one all right moving on good time for us to trade in the quest now there might even be a follow-up oh yeah shiro town Level 60. Not sure if we can do that. Okay, upon further consideration, we decided to let that one go for now. Uh, we can always come back a little bit later, but point in case, that's likely not going to. Uh, work out in our favor if you're fighting a level 59 or level 60 elite uh, instead of 56 you are asking for trouble so no point in doing that i will continue grinding away chugging a little potion here and we're good to go all right a little bit of a mini update in between Still going through the motions, climbing through all of uh, these enemies. Uh, specifically, the Yetis are a bit of an issue here, to be entirely fair, because uh, they come in uh, with uh, a hefty cold resistance, making it very difficult for us to go through. Uh, their innate uh, resistance plus they have the rip flash ability 70% movement uh, reduction you definitely can't once they have uh, removed your flash and they are dealing reasonable amounts of damage you can see here uh, just needing to deal with a lot of resists which is annoying to say the least Anyway, so we're going to do that uh, once we're halfway done. There is another 
Winterfall Ursa and Winterfall Shaman camp over here, which we're going to do. But for now, um, yeah, we're just going uh, through the Owl Beasts and the Yetis here. All right, after quite a bit of grinding, we have successfully killed all of the Yetis. In order to get Yeti fur, we have killed uh, quite a few owl beasts, raging and non-raging, and we've killed the last Fulborg over here. So that was a intense grind, but we are uh, done with the first set of quests. On top of it, I just got informed that today a couple of world buffs are going to drop. So my understanding is we're going to see Zulgrub and Ren dropping uh, which is pretty damn good uh, so we are going to take both of uh, these buffs and maybe on our way back even the sunflower just double checking yeah would anyways need to hand in uh, something here so might as well take a sunflower and do the toxic horrors quest over there um, after we got the world buffs so are we there yet yeti Yes, please. Follow up. We're collecting pristine Yeti hides. I might say the Yetis are not the easiest of enemies for us, to be entirely honest, because they have so much cold resistance. Okay, Winterfall activity. I'll hand that in as well. All right, and we're trading in the next quest. Winterfall activity here. So what's that? 22 um, spell damage? Yeah, well, ours is better. Substantially better. Might as well take the Den Watcher. And you can see beads. Yeah, a couple of beads that we could theoretically collect now. Um, in order to get more faction reputation. No, that's good. That's very good. Uh, I think we're going for the world buffs uh, now because uh, that's up next on the agenda. Let's port to Booty Bay. Good, so we landed back in Fellwood. Um, let's talk about global buffs for a second. <clears throat> Just as we're trading in yet another quest. So global buffs, the way that it works is there are a couple of global buffs uh, that <coughs> can drop. The Booty Bay one is, for instance, one of them or UBRS Rend, uh, when you uh, clear that dungeon you get the head of Rend Blackhand, uh, the guy that is running the show there. So <clears throat> in both of the cases uh, there is a global uh, buff. The ZG uh, buff is the Spirit of Salamdar, 15 is all stats and 10% movement increase and Warchief's Blessing is 300 hit points and 10 mana region, which isn't bad at all uh, so both of these uh, buffs are quite helpful so point in case on hardcore uh, since people know just how good uh, these buffs are overall um, they are announcing whenever these buffs are dropping and as such they are obtainable I just got both of the buffs uh, for free so we're going to have a really nice time. In the meantime, I know the location of all of the cleansing items and we want more tubbers. Uh, these were uh, the items that we, uh, that we can also use in order to heal ourselves. So this is how they look like, uh, with the root tubbers. Uh, just another item really. So, putting that down here, and now our job is to go to uh, get the toxic horrors down. So that's going to happen next. All right, there we are, kind of in the middle here, which is super, uh, super cool area. Um, these giant tree uh, treants have corrupted to the core. Just clearing a little bit the outside. As you can see, with extra hit points, an 
extra haste, we're doing well, and we need to do well because uh, these toxic horrors are water immune or ice immune. Let's go. Very nice. So what we need here toxic droplets which means we will need to kill quite a few of uh, these guys there we go drink up all right we're ready to go As a frost mage, it's never great to fight uh, mobs that are immune to uh, frost, so... That's always a bit of a pain, but we're heavily buffed, so I don't think there is going to be any problem. So they are dropping uh, the toxic um, the toxic droplets, and I'll fast forward the rest uh, for you. It's really just rinse and repeat against the water elementals. All right, we're done. <coughs> we got all of the drops, and I figured since we're going to go back to winter spring, might as well before doing so get another sunflower. <coughs> Wanted to showcase <coughs> how this is being done. If you know the location of all of the sunflowers, uh, they are relatively easy to find. You do have uh, the scenario selves. We do have like 32 of them left, so plenty, thanks to our grinding. And the cleansed uh, one uh, gives you yet another increase uh, to um, critical and all attributes plus 15. So we're rocking 3,700 and something hit points and around 6,000 mana. I think we have never been so buffed as we currently are. So um, let's make use of this and not waste the buffs. Complete world buffed. We're going into winter spring. Toxic horrors are going to be completed over here and then let's see what else we can do there. All right, back in winter spring, just ran into a patrol that I can't, with a good conscience, let roam freely. Because uh, that's the type of patrol that would unfortunately get me off of my horse at some point and then start killing me so no not gonna happen crits
All right. That was helpful. And we got a scroll of spirit. Nice. Further amplifying our buffs. So let me trade in toxic horrors. And then I think we're going to go for wild guardians up here. Uh, and pristine yeti heights down there. Both of that seems legit. I think we're pretty much done with questing in winter spring afterwards. It's a bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. Window for runners. And the winner for runners and stop them from delivering the shipment. Didn't I just do that? <laughs> no. No. Well. No good deed gets un uh, uh, stays unpunished, eh? Good. We did it once, boys. We can do it again. Killing them even faster than the first time. There is the crate. deliver that back. That was funny. I totally forgot about uh, the quest in the first place. All right, time to trade in the Winter Four Runners that uh, I needed to kill twice. Wow, XP is good. We're almost at level 57. Not too bad. That, on the other hand, is not so good. Prospect man. Very good. They didn't even give us XP. The High Chief. Uh, yeah. Mm, no. High Chief of Winterfall. That's an elite one, right? Yeah. And doesn't even have a, a super good reward. Couple of gold pieces, but that's about it.
Good, Eastern Plaguelands. Western Plaguelands, yeah, the game is um, suggesting we should go to other locations, which I do understand. Um, we're going to finish our hunt over here with the Wild Guardians, and then are we there yet, Yeti? And once both of those quests are done, I think so is this episode, plus we're uh, going to go to the Eastern Plaguelands. I know, I know. At some point it, it uh, was supposed to happen. All right, we found ourselves a friendly hunter <coughs> that has helped us kill the winter fall chief, 59B. Maybe could have done that myself. The problem with uh, 59 on our level is he has just a too big a chance of um, resisting stuff. Very good. With that, we can bring both of uh, these quests back and uh, say thank you. Because a little thank you always goes a long way. Very good. So, our next job, Muntashao Beasts, and then a couple of Yetis, and then Raiden. Good, so Muntash Owl Beasts are unfortunately running together with Berserk Owl Beasts, which I sincerely hope we don't need to uh, fight after that. Uh, they are level 59, so that's a bit of a bummer. I don't like orange enemies. 58 is fine, 59 is pushing it a bit. And the thing is, if the quests are now uh, becoming orange, then I think we're just going to give a farewell for the eastern, uh, western plaguelands for now. And we're good. Moon Touch Albies seem to be fine, though. So I think I just go around and kill a couple of uh, these guys. I'll fast forward for you, as usual, nothing really to see here. Good, after extinguishing half of the Munkin tribe here and making sure that they are not repopulating, we're done with that quest. Unfortunately, we lost uh, the War Chief's blessing in return, so now it's just pristine Yeti. Uh, Pristine Yeti will be again a bit more challenging because we're running against frost resistant Yetis. Let me get there first. All right, here we are, and this is not going to be fun. Let's see if I can even affect them with frost spells. Yeah, partially. I'm torn between the idea of just using frost and accepting that there will be resists or using fire. That's by the way, six, six resists on, on this guy alone. That's not good, man. All right, fire it is. Pristine horn, very good. All right, that's our second chance right here. Just pull them out a little bit <coughs> so the others are not adding. Nope. 
good. That's our next chance right here. If that doesn't drop, then I'll just fast forward for you guys. I don't want this to become a slapstick of me saying that's the next chance, next chance, next chance, and then it's happening. Yeah, I'll keep fast forward. Good, we got the second horn. Took a while, as you can imagine, but we managed to get it nonetheless. So, uh, back to the city. I think we're uh, pretty much done. There might be just one follow up with the Yetis. I won't go into the Yeti cave, that's not happening with the frost spec. Um, yeah, three trade in, four trade ins actually. Number one, right over here, the Yetis, pristine horns, thank you. What do we need to do now? Oh, just scaring the friends? I think we can do that. Okay, and target quicks. Where are these guys? Let me find them. Yeah, never mind. They are in Tenaris and in the Unguru Crater. Okay, cool. Um, it always helps if you can read the quest uh, text properly, so I can. Anyways, we're going to trade in the other quests. All right, so High Chief Winterfall, thank you. Uh, we do not necessarily need that. So we're getting the highest sellable item. And we get another quest trade in for here. Uh, I tell you what riding it which might be just a tad faster than uh, fly, uh, riding back and flying over also i can get another sunflower buff and we will make uh, after trading both of the question we'll make our way over to the plague lands all right handing in another request wild guardians and he really asks us to kill the berserk owl beasts yet again Ah, oh, it's a effed up uh, mm, quest line to always go back and forth. I'll do it the next time I'm in Winter Spring. And finally, we make our way to the last uh, trade in, which uh, coincidentally enough also gave us the level up uh, level 57. There we go. Got a nice uh, little clear casting here. Fantastic. And that's going to be the end of today's episode. Uh, we cleared winter, spring, more or less. It's time for us to go to another zone. Uh, Western Plaguelands is going to be the next name of the game. Teleport under city, uh, get rid of all of the stuff, and then continue questing there. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed uh, the Diaries of Death, leave a comment and a like down below, and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.